guys, it's Devin, and today I am going to do my February loves and lows. I've decided to call it that this year. I always call it something different every year. First year I did hits and misses. 2012 I did favorites and flops. So this year I'm going to do loves and lows. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So the first thing I want to tell you guys, I want to tell you guys, um, about this website that I have heard a lot of YouTubers talk about and it's called Opinion Outpost and if you haven't heard about it basically what it is is you go onto this website and I will leave a link in the down bar for the website you sign up it's 100% free and all they want you to do is basically take surveys to give your opinion on products that you probably already use anyway and it's not a gimmick it's not you know, I think we've all had our experience with the survey websites where you can supposedly get this and get that. This is not the case. This is legit. You can get cash, you can get Amazon gift cards, you can get free products sent to you just for going on there and filling out surveys and telling them your opinion about big, high-end um, companies, you know, big companies that just, you know, want to know what you guys think about stuff. So. I thought it was a really cool site. I heard about it, like I said, from a lot of other YouTubers, and I checked it out, and I thought it was really cool, so I wanted to let you guys know about it. Again, there'll be a description link, or a link in the description bar down below, and every three months, they give away $10,000, so wouldn't you feel snazzy if you won that? I know I sure would. Um, second thing, I wanted to ask your guys' opinion on videos. I am starting the 1st of March. I'm going to do like a major lifestyle overhaul. Um, I just, it's mainly, go, I'm changing my diet and my exercise routine. Um, I really just, I don't feel good. I'm, I'm not healthy. Um, I went to the doctor and I just, I'm, I'm like pre-diabetic. I'm just not in good condition and I really just want to change my lifestyle. I just want to eat healthier and be more active and do things like that. And I've done it in the past before and I have, you know, gained it all back and yo-yoed back and forth for about eight to ten years. And I just wanted to know if you guys would want me to, like, document that with you. I know this is a beauty channel, so that's why I'm asking your opinion first. If you don't want to see the videos, my feelings will not be hurt at all. Um, I totally understand. But I was thinking, like, either once a week I could do, like, maybe weigh in Wednesday and um, tell you guys maybe some foods that I had found that I really liked um, that were healthier and like what exercises I had been doing and you know how I was trying to get myself back into shape and you know stuff like that or I could just do it like once a month. Um, so just let me know your ideas on that if you would like to see that. If you wouldn't either way I'm perfectly fine. If you want to see them I'll do them. If you don't I won't. So on to the loves and lows. That's going to be hard for me to get used to saying. Um, I'm going to go with my loads first because I only have two. And this one is a major loath. And it's the Buxom Amplified Lash Mascara. I got this uh, Black Friday and I just opened it about a month and a half ago. And it actually has the same concept as if you've tried MAC the oh, Hot and Naughty Lash Thingy Mascara. Um, it has the same concept. You twist this thing up here at the top and it can be longer or you twist it back and it shortens it. So it's basically the same concept as that, but I don't you guys know I don't like um, plastic bristles anyway. For some reason, I seem to always get mascaras with plastic bristles, even though I despise them. But this stuff flakes. It flakes like nobody's business. It's not even funny. And it did it like straight out of the container. Like as soon as I opened it first day, it flaked. And it's flaked every day since. I've literally just been using it because I want to use it up. Um, thankfully, I'm almost done with it. But yeah, it's... No. No. It's flaky. It's awful. Um, my second loathe is not necessarily something I don't like. It's just something I feel like 
is not a must have. I feel like it, it's very overpriced and you really don't have to have it because there are just as good alternatives. And that is the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I really was excited to try this stuff and I have to say it is a really nice foundation. It is extremely full coverage. Um, it, it looks really nice on the skin. But, for me, um, it also feels like you have nothing on, by the way. I mean, it just feels like you have, like, nothing on your face. But for me, it does not wear well throughout the day in my dry areas. There are areas where I will get dry around my mouth. I've talked to you guys about this before. Like, right through here, I will get drier and up through here. And it just does not wear well in those areas. The rest of the areas, it wears fine. But in those areas, it does not wear well. And I think this was like, I want to say like $38 or $42 or something. And I just feel like I've been trying this out for you guys ever since I got it. Because I already knew I liked the other foundations that I got. So I've been trying this out for you guys. And I just feel like I would reach for something else if I wasn't purposely using this. I definitely would not reach for this. This would not be one that I would reach for. So, I just, I wouldn't suggest it. If I had a Sephora near me, I would actually go and return it because, um, you know, it's quite expensive and it's not something that I think I'm going to find myself reaching for at all. So, that was kind of a bummer. I was really excited about that. But, anywho, I don't suggest that one. Now on to my loves. The one that I do suggest, one that I found myself thinking every time I would put the Illamasqua one on, I kept thinking to myself, gosh, I wish I would just put this one on because I know at the end of the day it's going to look phenomenal and the Illamasqua one is going to look awful. And that is the Revlon Nearly Naked. I love this stuff. This is a phenomenal foundation. If you want something that feels like you have nothing on your skin, go for this. It's definitely got buildable coverage. I can, it takes like a couple layers for me to get all my scars covered up, but it does cover them up, and it does wear beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't get dry and patchy and cakey. It, it's phenomenal, and right along with it, I love the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. I really, really love this stuff. It keeps, I don't really have like oily, oily skin, but I will still get shiny, um, especially while I was in Florida. I noticed that if I didn't wear this powder, I definitely got shiny, but this keeps all like the oils and stuff from coming through. It keeps you from getting shiny. Um, it actually has a little bit of coverage to it as well when you put it on. So when you put it on over your foundation, it actually gives you a little bit of added coverage. I really, really like this. So, I'm really happy with both of the Revlon Nearly Naked products. I can't say enough about them. I have a lot of lip stuff, but I think I'm going to save that for last because I feel like the majority of it is lip stuff. Um, on to, back to mascaras, I should say, the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I think everybody and their mother has jumped on this bandwagon, and I was the last person to do it, but I love this little gem right here. It is phenomenal. It does not smudge on your under eye area, and I love that. It's got the cutest little brush, which at first I thought, ooh, I'm not going to be able to work with that, because, I mean, it's so tiny. <clears throat> But it is really, really nice. I mean, it just separates your bottom lashes perfectly. No smudging. You can wear it all day long. No problems whatsoever out of this. It's definitely $10 that I will spend over and over and over and over and over again. Um, another thing that I really, really liked this month was the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner pen. And it's got, the tip is kind of, it's flexible at the top, and it gives a really nice black line, and it hasn't dried out on me. I do like it for a pen, although I have to say I don't prefer pens for my liquid liner. I prefer, like, brushes, you know, like this, where the whole brush is completely flexible. I like to be able to, you know really work with what I'm doing. Um, but as far as a pen, 
liquid liner. This is the best one that I have found by far, and I've tried them all. I feel like I've tried the lower end ones. I've tried a lot of the higher end ones, and the Stila one is definitely the best. It stays all day. It gives you like the blackest black, most precise line that you could possibly want. Love it. I actually want to get it in blue and green. I feel like I need those colors. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Even though I don't prefer pans, it's more convenient, I feel like, especially if you're traveling, which I did a lot this month, so it was really convenient. Another thing that I'm really, really loving before I move into lips, I have a few more things before I move into lips, is the Revlon Brow Fantasy Light Brown brow thingy. And this is the one with the crayon on top that needs to be sharpened and the gel down here. I love this. This is definitely going to be the one that I repurchase over and over and over again because previously to this I had used high end. I had used Lancome. I had used um, Tarte. I had used, you know, basically just high end for my eyebrows. I had never really tried a drugstore one until this one, and I love it. And the reason I love it so much is the gel. The pencil is really good as well if you want to take the time to do that, but some days I just don't feel like doing a pencil, and I just need the tinted gel to run through and fill in, you know, any areas that are looking sparse, which I don't really have that problem with my eyebrows, but I feel like even if you have great brows, you still need to, like, do a little something with them. Um, so yeah, I love this. I think it was like six or seven dollars at Ulta and it's going to be my holy grail eyebrow thing now. It's definitely going to be something that I just repurchase over and over. So, on to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have like yuck throat today. I don't know what the problem is. Probably because I've had too much coffee and not enough water. On to Kat Von D. I tried, I showed you guys in my Sephora haul, I tried her bronzer and her blushes. Love them. This is the bronzer in Shady Business 1, and it has a mirror down here. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have used this every single day since I bought it. I have not used anything else. Um, it does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's just a perfect, I don't even know if it's going to, yeah, it's going to show up. It's just the perfect color of, like, glistening... I don't know, just a nice glisten to your contour area. And I've told you before, I'm not one that really, it doesn't bother me if I have a little bit of shimmer to my um, bronzer. And this, I feel like this one is not so dark that I have to really be precise and worry about it because I am so fair. My favorite bronzer of all time was the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. But I feel like with that one, it's so dark that I have to be really, really precise with it. And I know there's one that's lighter. Um, I think it's called Bunny something or another. But I just never bought it. And this does come in a darker shade. This comes in Shady Business 2, which would be darker. But I just really, really like this. I feel like I don't have to be extremely precise. I can just kind of throw it on with my blush brush and, you know, do my contouring and just be done with it. I really, really like it. It stays on all day. It doesn't break me out. I mean, what more can I ask for? Really, really like it. And then her blushes. I bought three of them. I bought Essex, which is a gorgeous, like, dusty rose color. And I will swatch that and see if you can see it. The lighting today is awful. I hope it looks better once uh, I hope it looks better on film than it does in person. So, this is Essex, which is just really, really a pretty dusty rose color. And then we also have Bellissima. Bellissima, I think. Anywho, it is this really pretty, like, coral pink color. This is what it looks like in the pan. And then I will swatch it right beside Essex. So that's Bellissima right there. And then the last one is Truth. And it's kind of the darkest. Wait a minute. Hang on. I picked up the wrong one. And swatched the wrong one. That's delightful. Um, so the next one is Truth. And it is kind of the darkest of 
the three in a different, it's like more of a plummy instead of a rosy color versus the Essex. I'll try to, well, I don't know. It may be more of a rosy color. I don't really know. I know they're all different, and I've been wearing them like crazy all month. So, this is Truth. It's definitely more of a pinky color. Truth right there, and then Essex right above it, and then Bellissima over here. So, they're all different colors. They all, um, now that I'm looking at it, uh, Essex is the darkest one right up here at the top. So, <clears throat> I highly recommend these. They stay on all day long. Like, they seriously compare to my um, Tarte 12-Hour Amazonian Clay blushes that I really, really love that were my holy grail. These definitely compare to it, and they have a lot of other colors, and they're just gorgeous. Um, a couple of them are matte. I think one of them has just a little bit of shimmer, but not much. I, I just love it. I just I can't say enough about Kat Von D products. I think that they're not talked about enough, and they're really, really phenomenal. I mean, I know they must be pretty popular because they continue to sell them. So, um, apparently people really like them. I just don't hear them talked about as much as I think they should be. So, that's why I'm going to talk about them all day, every day. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. But I really, really like those. I highly recommend them. And then on to lips. This is going to come as no surprise to you guys because I've talked about them ever since I got them. And it is the L'Oreal stain things. I love them. I have them in Lilac Ever After, which is probably my favorite of the three that I have. I have it in Endless Red, and I have it in Pink Perseverance. Love these. They're phenomenal. I will ultimately have every single color. Also, for lips, I found my perfect nude, and it is the Little Baby Buxom um, Lip Stick in the color Sydney. Now this came in like a Christmas kit probably a couple years ago, but I'm assuming you can probably get the full sized. And I put this all over my lips. Again, it's the color Sydney. And then I put the Buxom White Russian um, cream over it. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect nude for me. Ew, did you guys just see that? Like I kind of like spit a little bit at you. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It is the perfect nude for me, and I have had a really hard time finding the perfect nude because it always seems to wash me out because my lips are so highly pigmented. Um, but yeah, there's White Russian right below it. Those two together, phenomenal. So if you have highly pigmented lips, I would suggest trying that as, you know, a really good nude combo. And last but not least on the lip color front is Cinnamon Kiss from Too Faced. The Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. This is phenomenal. I think I've said that about 15,000 times in this video, but I love this color. I love this formula. I will be buying more of these. That's it right there. Cinnamon Kiss. Love it. It wore fantastic throughout the day. It didn't gather and leave that funky line that you guys know I hate. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So, that is it for my loves and lows for the month of February. I have a few other things, but I think I'm going to try them out a little bit more because I don't feel like I've tried them enough that I can tell you guys you know, that I can recommend it to you guys. So next month there'll be even more stuff probably, um, without a doubt, because I bought so much stuff this month <laughs> that I'm like, I'm trying out a lot of new stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great weekend. Bye.